After coloring, an object may need some lighting options to give a clear 3D model. Shadows and surface lighting can be used to help with that. Go to the light bulb button and the lighting options will appear. There are two boxes available. The first is the shadows, the second is surface lighting. I'm going to click on shadows for now. Notice how the shadows have helped to bring out the object. You will notice other options are now activated. These include moving the distance the light is from the object, changing the percentage of shadows, and changing the light color. You can go ahead and experiment with those. There are also two yellow circles with arrows around them. The first is your light source. Notice the white line that is propagating from the source to the object. If you right click on your object, you can go ahead and rotate where that light is shining. This can help enhance specific areas. If you don't like how the light is shining, you can reset the direction of the light back to the default by clicking on the yellow circle with the blue arrows pointing in. The next button is surface lighting. This creates a metallic look on your object and is good for certain objects such as metals or high density materials. There are also other options that have appeared at the bottom. You can go ahead and try those out. Uh, these will be covered in a later video. Those are the basics for lighting options. Check out our next video on object rotation.